Is our universe an atom and each atom its own universe? If you are ready for your daily cosmic identity crisis, then stay tuned, because today we are traveling together into the world of atoms and trying to answer the very biggest questions of the cosmos. If you like it, I appreciate a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the YouTube algorithm to show this video to even more people. Thanks a lot guys and welcome. Did you guys know that you and I are super similar? Yes, because we are all cut from the same cloth, atoms to be exact. An atom is the basic building block of matter. All solid, liquid or gaseous substances are made of them. Chemical elements, for example, differ from each other in the structure of their respective atoms. The name atom comes from the ancient Greek atomos and means indivisible. This turned out not to be quite right, because as we found out in the 20th century, atoms can indeed be divided, as I will now demonstrate. This tiny atom here, which of course you can't see, will split with these conventional kitchen scissors. Joking aside, the fact that atoms are indivisible is also not true because we now know that they consist of several individual parts. They consist of an atomic nucleus and an atomic shell. The atomic nucleus in turn consists of positively charged protons, and a number of electrically neutral neutrons of approximately the same weight. And even these can be broken down further into smaller particles, into so-called quarks. I find the idea incredibly fascinating that everything here is made of quarks and that in the microcosm there is this world of its own, which is a bit like the underlying programming code of our reality. Why is that? Why are there atoms and quarks? Some people answer that. God made the quarks. But what is God made of? Shouldn't he be made of quarks? Other people say that our cosmos is only a simulation and that when we explore the microcosm, we are really examining the pixels of our simulation. That's possible, but then the question arises again, what is the real world made of outside the simulation? Phew, so you see, we are really talking about the most fundamental mysteries of the cosmos. And one approach could be, our universe is an atom. I bet the scene most of you had in mind when you clicked on this video is this one from Men in Black. In the scene it's not atoms, it's marbles that a higher alien being is playing with, but so similar and so universe as a smaller entity in an even larger world above. What would be the argument for that? First of all, that the similarities between microcosm and macrocosm are already remarkable. Doesn't an atom somehow remind you of a kind of solar system? The electrons moving in shells around the atomic nucleus are somewhat reminiscent of planets orbiting a central star. And there is another striking similarity. An electron is about 2000 times lighter than a proton or a neutron. Electrons therefore contribute only 0.1% of the mass of the atom. And three guesses, the planets of our solar system contribute 0.1% of the mass of the entire solar system. The Sun, as the nucleus, accounts for 99.9% .9 of the mass. But we are actually looking for similarities between an atom and the universe, not just individual solar systems. And there is one thing in particular that stands out, the great emptiness. Large parts of the cosmos and simply empty. Between the galaxies there is basically nothing except very, very thin intergalactic matter. Similarly in an atom. The nucleus of an atom is extremely small compared to the overall size of the atom. The electrons orbiting the nucleus take up even less space. This means that atoms are mostly empty space, with a very small dense nucleus and electrons orbiting it. Just as atoms are mostly empty space with small dense nuclei and electrons orbiting them, the universe is also mostly empty space with small dense objects like stars and nebulae scattered around. In both cases, the amount of empty space is much greater than the amount of matter present. The emptiness of the atom is thus reminiscent of the emptiness of the cosmos. But these are only similarities and none of them indicate that our universe is really an atom. And in fact, there are some good reasons against it. First of all, the size and complexity of the universe. We know that the universe ultimately consists of atoms. And it consists of many, many, many atoms. 
It is estimated that there are 10 to the power of 80 atoms in the cosmos written out, whereas that is a 1 with 80 zeros. How can our universe be made up of this inconceivable number of atoms if it were itself an atom? And wouldn't that also mean that each atom in our universe would in turn be its own universe? That in turn would mean that each atom would contain such a huge number of atoms. And that would have to be reflected in the weight somehow. Atoms, however, are really light. They are expressed in the atomic mass unit U or DA, which is one twelfth of the weight of a carbon-12 isotope. The exact weight differs depending on the type of atom. The weight of a hydrogen atom is about 1.008 U and the weight of an oxygen atom is about 16 U. In any case, they are all incredibly light, it can be said. And then on the other side we have the universe, which weighs a little more than I do after the all-you-can-eat buffet at the Chinese, which is an estimated 10 to the power of 56 kilograms. So if atoms were universes of their own, they must be heavier, right? For example, if I eat a certain number of atoms, for example in the form of this biscuit, then I have gained weight. And another counter-argument, the laws according to which atoms and the universe function are absolutely different. Atoms are described by quantum mechanics, the part of physics devoted to the very smallest things, while the universe can be described primarily by Einstein's general theory of relativity. And quantum physics and general relativity are at war in many respects. So it seems relatively unlikely that macrocosm and microcosm could in fact be one. But who knows, maybe the question of whether the universe is an atom is leading us on the right track. Perhaps each atom contains a kind of mini black hole as a quantum physical entrance to a new universe. And because of this quantum mechanical barrier we cannot measure the true weight of the atoms. Interesting mind game, but unfortunately without any evidence at the moment. Now I would be very interested in your opinion. Is the universe an atom or is this complete nonsense? Write me your ideas and arguments in the comments, maybe we can get an exciting discussion going, that would make me very happy. It's not as if scientific knowledge is set in stone forever. The James Webb Telescope may even have disproved the Big Bang. The discovery of ancient galaxies at least turns astrophysics completely upside down. Find out everything about these grandfather galaxies and why they are changing our understanding of physics in the video shown here. Be sure to check it out and if you want to support the channel, browse through my space shop. There you can get the shirts from the videos, plush planets, real meteorites and much more. Every purchase supports my work. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.